Hello everyone. My name is Aurangzeb and today we will talk about the constitution of the Turkey which was enforced in 1982 and was reinforced with amendments in the 2011 when the martial coup was declined by the people of the Turkey united. So let's understand and talk and thoroughly uh, discuss the constitution of the Turkey. Before starting the video let me introduce myself to you that I am Aurangzeb and I am from Pakistan making this video for the study purpose as the students throughout world can understand the constitution of the Turkey Let's start with the preamble that the constitution of the Turkey starts with the preamble that political theorists figures affirming the in internal existence of the turkish motherland means the motherland of the turkish is the eternal existence and nation and the indivisible unity of the sublime turkish state this constitution in line with the concept of nationalism introduced by the founder of the republic of turkey ataturk the immortal leader and the unrivaled hero and his reforms and principles in the preamble the uh, role of the ataturk who is the founder and and the hero of the turkey is discussed with his uh, great concept of the uh, republic of the turkey and his uh, efforts about about the uh, uh, turkish motherland determining to attain the everlasting existence prosperity ma uh, material and spiritual well-being of the Tur uh, republic of turkey and the standards of the contemporary civilization as an honorable member with equal rights of the family of world nations now the turkey has been discussed as the family of the world nation with equal rights means the people of the turkey will enjoy full rights with the honorable member of the world the absolute supremacy of the will of the nation the fact that sovereignty is vested fully and unconditionally in the turkish nation means the people of the turkey will decide their fate and that no individual or body empowered to exercise this sovereignty in the name of the nation shall deviate from the liberal democracy indicated in the constitution and the legal system instituted according to its requirements means the power will remain with the people of the turkish and the constitution and other fundamental rights are discussed would be discussed and will be regulated by the nation of the turkey the separation of powers which does not imply an order of precedence among the organs of the state but refers solely to the exercising exercising of certain state powers and discharging of duties and is limited to a civilized co uh, cooperation and division of discharging of duties and is limited to a civilized cooperation and division of functions and the fact that only the constitution and the laws have the supremacy now here in this paragraph the powers are discussed which separate the so, uh, state organs and uh, empower them through the constitution and the laws have the supremacy in the turkish motherland the land of turkey that no protection shall be accorded to an activity contrary to turkish national interests turkish existence and the principle of its indivisibility with its state and territory historically and moral values of turkishness the nationalism principles reforms and civiliz civilizationism of ataturk and that sacred religious feeling shall absolutely not be involved in state affairs and pol politics is required by the principle of secularism now in this paragraph it is been discussed that the power of the turkish and the constitution affairs of the state 
will not be regulated by any uh, nationalism principles reforms and civilization uh, civilization civilizationism of ataturk or any sacred religious feelings means uh, the is uh, state of the turkey will remain in power to decide its fate according to the will and wish of the people of the turkey turkey will remain the secular state further on that every turkish uh, citizen has an innate right and power now the constitution empowers each and every citizen of the turkey a, with a right and power to lead an honorable life and to improve his or material and spiritual well-being under the age of national culture civilization and the rule of law through the ex- exercise of the fundamental rights and freedoms set forth within this constitution in conformity with the requirements of equality and social justice now the citizens of the turkey turkish state will enjoy their civilization culture uh, honorable life of material and spiritual well being and the rule of law will exercise and the fundamental rights will be protected by the constitution and social justice and equality are the requirements of the constitution and be enforced for the well-being of the national uh, turkish nationals that all turkish citizens are united in national honor and pride in national joy and grief in their rights and duties regarding national existence in blessings and in burdens and in every manifestation of national life and that they have the right to demand a peaceful life based on absolute respect for one and other's rights and freedoms mutual love and fellowship and the desire for and belief in peace at home peace in the world this paragraph discuss the national behavior are the national honor and pride of the turkish citizen that they will enjoy the nationalism and grief and their rights and duties regardless of national existence and blessings and burdens and manifestation of national life they will remain in the peace in the home means turkish people will remain in the peace at home on the turkish land and on the foreign land peace in the world they will uh, take efforts to maintain the peace at home and at the world with these ideas beliefs and resolutions to be interpreted and implemented extra accordingly thus commanding respect for and absolute loyalty to its letter and spirit has been entrusted by the turkish nation to the democracy loving turkish sons and daughters love for motherland and nation now this uh, this paragraph is discussed about the democracy loving turkish sons and daughters who will take efforts for the well being and nationalism of the turkish welfare and well being of the people of the turkish they will uh, dwell in the democratic turkish state so this was the total preamble which was discussed above and here in the ending paragraph that now let's talk or understand it on the summary summary basis that the preamble talks about the nationalism peaceful democracy and the rule of law and the constitution empowerment that the separation of power will be enforced no single entity or any institution will take over other and peace will be maintained at national as well as international level so now let's move on and understand the part 1 general principles form of the state now on what basis the state of the turkey will uh, based article 1 article 1 of the uh, constitution of the turkish states that article 1 the state of turkey is a republic means 
the turkey is a land of people with democracy with rule of law and etc the rule of the people will be enforced with the help of the constitution the form of a state of the turkey is a republic let's move on to article 2 uh, before moving to second article let me uh, clear it here that uh, the turkish uh, constitution is solely based on the presidential form of government the form of presidential empowerment or the uh, government of presidential system in the first article the form of the state is republic uh, 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 form of the state is discussed and in the article 2 now the characteristics of the republic on what basis the republic will based article 2 the republic of turkey is a democratic secular and social state governed by rule of law within the notions of public peace national solidar solidarity and justice respecting human rights loyal to the nationalism of the tatar and based on the fundamental tenets uh, uh, set forth, forth in the preamble the republic of turkey is a democratic secular and social state means all three ingredient, ingredients are discussed in the constitution of the turkey which are democratic secular and social state governed by the rule of law means uh, there will be no compromise on the rule of law and notions of the public peace national solidarity and justice respecting human rights loyal to the nationalism of ataturk who is the founder of the republic of the turkey based on the fundamental tenets set forth in the preamble now the preamble will be adopted or understood through the constitution which will be enforced next integrity official language national uh, national anthem flag and capital of the state all are discussed here in the article 3 the state of turkey with its territory and nation is an indivisible entity its language is turkish now the turkish land cannot be divided according to constitution its integrity is safe and Turkish will be its national language, which is discussed in the constitution. Its flag, the form of which is, is pres prescribed by the relevant law, is composed of a white crescent and starred on a red background. Now the flag is discussed in the article 3 of the constitution of Turkey. Its national anthem is the independence march. Its capital is Ankara. Ankara is the capital of Turkey. Ankara is similar to the Canberra, which is uh, the capital of Australia. So here it is the Can Ankara, which is the capital of uh, Turkey. The national anthem is the Independence March. Now let's move to the Article 4, that irrevocable provisions means the pro these provisions cannot be irre uh, revoked. The provisions of, the, of Article 1 regarding uh, regarding the form of the state being a republic, the characteristics of the republic in Article 2, and the provisions of Article 3 shall not be amended nor shall their amendment be proposed. Now these will remain intact and no amendment will be enforced to uh, ir uh, revoke the Article 1, 2 or 3. Article 4 provides safeguard to the art three articles. Now Article 4, uh, 5, fundamental aims and duties of the state. Now the objective of the state is Article 5 that uh, the funda fundamental aims and duties of the state are to safeguard the independence and integrity of the Turkish nation, the indivisibility of the country, the republic and democracy to ensure the welfare peace and happiness of the individual and society to strive for the removal of political, economic and social obstacles which restrict the fundamental rights and freedoms of the individual in a manner incompatible with the principles of justice and of the social state governed by rule of law and 
to provide the conditions required for the development of the ind- individual's material and spiritual existence now the fundamental aims are discussed here that the principles of justice will laid down in the turkish land and rule of law will be governed and social justice will be provided to each and every one individuals material and spiritual existence will be respected now sovereignty means the independency of article 6 Uh, is discussed in the article 6 sovereignty article 6 sovereignty belongs to the nation with without any restriction or condition now the people of the turkey have no any restrictions or conditions and they are sovereign the turkish nation shall ex- exercise its sovereignty through the authorized organs as prescribed by the principles set forth in the constitution the uh, three pr- principal organs of the state are uh, legislative assembly executive and the judiciary now the authorized organs means all those three organs will re- in- enforce the sovereignty of the turkish island sorry land the turkish land will Uh, be safeguarded by the organs the exercise of sovereignty shall not be delegated by any means to any individual group or class no person or organ shall exercise any state authority that doesn't emanate from the constitution legislative powers article 7 part 7 article 7 that legislative power is vested in the grand national assembly of the turkey on behalf of turkish nation this power shall not be delegated means there would be grand national assembly which will uh, be the constitutional assembly and the legislative assembly this institution is empowered to legislate and this uh, this power shall not be delegated means cannot be transferred to any other organ of the state executive power and function article 8 dis- uh, discuss the executive and fun- uh, executive power and function shall be exercised and carried out by the president of the republic and the council of ministers in conformity with the constitution and laws the executive authority shall be the president who will function under the constitution and laws conformity the council of ministers will be laid laid down by the or the led by the president now the most important organ of the state which is judicial power article 9 judicial power shall be exercised by independent courts on behalf of the turkish nation the article 9 safeguards the empowerment or the protects the judicial power which shall be shall be exercised by independent courts on behalf of the turkish nation now the rights of the turkish people will be protected by the courts or judiciary which is empowered by the constitution this is very important and the uh, much discussed discussed uh, article throughout in the world that equality before the law this provision or the article is discussed everywhere in the world in every constitution of the world so let's understand article 10 everyone is equal before the law without distinction as to language race color sex political opinion philosophical belief religion and sect or any such grounds means everyone is equal before the law without dis- uh, distinction without discrimination everyone has equal rights and protection men and women have equal rights here the rights of the men and women are discussed that they are equal in the rights the state has the obligation to ensure that this equality exists in practice now the state is bound down 
through this article to ensure the existence of equal rights of the men and women mayas taken for this purpose shall not be interpreted as a contrary to the principles of principle of equality mayas be to be taken for children the elderly disabled people widows and orphans of mart- uh, martyrs as well as for the invalid and veteran shall not be considered as violation of the principle of equality no privilege shall be granted to any individual family or group or class now no royal or any other family will be protected nor will be treated on the special grounds state organs and administrative authorities are obliged to act in compliance with the principle of equality before the law in all their proceedings supremacy and binding force of the constitution article 11 the provisions of the constitution are fundamental legal rules binding upon legislative executive and judicial organs and administrative authorities and other institutions and individuals law shall not be contrary to the constitution now the supremacy and binding force of the constitution means the constitution will remain supreme law of the land and the enforcement of constitution shall be made by the organs of the state and to ensure the supremacy of the constitution shall be governed by the legislative executive and judicial organs of the state no law shall be made contrary to the constitution means against the constitution no no law shall be made part 2 fundamental rights and duties now in the above part we discussed all the 11 articles of the constitution and the next video we will talk about the fundamental rights and duties which lie in the part 2 of the constitution of the turkish so i tried my best to explain the constitution of the turkish before you and uh, any if any error is made i regret and uh, the efforts taken by me for the video and the constitution interpretation reading and understanding of the uh, uh, turkia constitution is solely my responsibility in this video i take responsibility if any error or any misreading is done so i apologize for that if you have any complaint any suggestion or any anything you want to say i would appreciate please contact me in the comment section so we will discuss and try to correct it again and if it is a turn i will appreciate so we will uh, meet in the next video which would be talked on the part 2 fundamental rights and duties till then take care and keep following my channel take care see you again